Virtually all types of industrial equipment of almost up to 1 megawatt in power are developed with the help of power modules. Such modules are used in process drives and tow lines, secondary power supplies, power engineering and machine building. Power modules operate only under the condition that the heat from the modules package is efficiently removed. The key factor ensuring best performance of these devices is transmission of heat from the surface to the air, which is described by thermal resistance. All the power switches offered in the market can for convenience be differentiated based on the key design feature, presence or absence of a base plate. The copper base of a standard module acts as a carrier and is used to secure the device to a cooler. In devices without a base plate, the ceramic insulating substrate is mounted directly onto a heat sink. The massive base plate helps to effectively distribute the heat produced by the chips. The copper base has one of several ceramic substrates with chips soldered into it. Chips and power terminals are connected with the ceramics by soldering. This is a simple way to remove heat and ensure low contact resistance. The aluminum terminals of the chip are connected to a pin using ultrasonic bonding. But it is exactly the soldered joints that often lead to failure of power switches under high overloads. High operating temperatures damage the soldering joints between the ceramics and base plates and destroy the structure of soldered areas. The pressure contact technology can solve all the issues associated with the decoupling of the copper case and the ceramic substrate. The structure, the pressure module structure doesn't require a soldered connection layer. Instead, the ceramic substrate with IGBT chips and diode is mounted directly onto a heat sink. A special pressure plate is used to create pressure at locations of maximum heat generation, providing for balanced heat removal onto a cooler. This connection method enables floating of the module ceramic base with respect to the heat sink on a heat sink compound without experiencing any thermomechanical stress. In the vast majority of cases, the failure of modules is associated with a soldered joint between the silicon chips and the board. Silicon agrees with the ceramics a lot better than copper. Besides, experience shows that it is a detachment of chips from insulating substrate that is often the key reason for failure of the pressure modules. This problem can be effectively solved with the help of presentering technology. The thermal resistance to the conduct layer that consists of the synthetic silver nanopowder is much lower than that of a soldered joint. This material enables high resistance to thermocycling and increases the life of the power modules. Due to its unique properties, the paste made of silver nanoparticles can successfully replace the traditional soft and hard solders. It has improved electrical and thermal conductivity, which makes this technology suitable for all types of chips and ceramics, as well as for chip mounting.